I'm choosing to get baptized today because I got dedicated when I was a baby and I want to make this choice for myself because my parents brought me into this world in God's eyes. So I want to also show Carter, my son, how to be a Christian and how to keep going even when times get tough. And that's what God's there for and that's what I want to show everyone else. Stephanie Shell has really inspired me, gotten more involved in the church through her. So. I was diagnosed with breast cancer, cancer several years ago. It was then I was at my lowest, um, but I wasn't alone. I would talk to God and bear all my fears to Him. In doing so, I felt at peace. Wow, who would have thought that at my lowest I would feel my best? It was by the grace of God that my life was spared. I believe this to have happened because my life had just begun as a Christian and I needed to make a difference in this world. This was how I received Jesus Christ as my personal Savior. By being baptized, it is a rebirth to me, a chance to right wrongs and a commitment to God for me to say I am here for the duration and I am so excited for this change in my life. This is only the beginning of my story. Thank you. Before I became a Christian, I felt like I was continually stumbling over the same roadblocks. I wanted to be a better wife, mother, daughter, friend, etc., but I struggled with anxiety and worry, understanding only intellectually how to change but falling short when trying to follow through emotionally. Then I received Jesus Christ as my personal Savior. On March 28th, Pastor Terry preached on the story of the prodigal son, and after hearing his message on the lost being found, I finally understood that it has to be our decision to ask for God's help, to go home to Him, and to not walk alone anymore. I understood that it doesn't matter what path we walked in the past, we can have new life through Jesus. For someone who processes everything intellectually, God chose to speak to me in an undeniably real and powerful way that day, leaving me shaken and in tears. I had finally arrived. Now that I have eternal life in Christ, things are different. I have found strength, hope, purpose, and clarity. My eyes have been opened, and I have truly begun to see people and situations differently. Also, knowing that our time here on earth is limited, and that God has eternal plans for us, has helped immensely to put the trivial things into perspective. With Jesus, I can be more present and live with gratitude instead of continual fear and negativity. I refer to John 14, 6 for comfort. I am the way, the truth, and the life. My desire in life now is to continue to mature spiritually through prayer, growth groups, and service. I know there will still be roadblocks, but I feel more confident in handling them while walking with Jesus. I once had a garden filled with flowers that grew on dark thoughts, but they needed constant attention, and one day I decided I had better things to do. I am so thankful that I have the light of Jesus in my life now.